And now, it's time for Phonemic Awareness Woo! with Miss Croninger! Phonemic Awareness with Miss Croninger. Yay! Okay, I am coming to you not live from my daughter's bedroom, which is why you see pink curtains and pink walls behind me. And today I want to do some phonemic activities with you, um, both for you parents to see how we do it at school every day. And also the kiddos can do this along with me, which is super fun. And we love doing this every day. In our classroom, I call these uh, listening games. So before we get started, everybody put your listening ears on. There are, there's no print for this parent, so you do not need flashcards, you don't need um, books or paper or pencils, anything at all. Um, you're just going to be listening to the words and the sounds in the words, and we're going to do some fun things with those sounds, okay? So to start off, we're going to start with some rhyming words. So everybody, open your ears and put on your thinking caps, and you can, at school, we, we like to kind of rub our chin when we're thinking, so you can do that with me. So I want you to think of a word that rhymes with run. Okay, so here's a few examples. Fun, sun, bun. So remember, when we're rhyming, we're just changing the first sound. The last sounds stay the same, and that's how we know that they're rhyming. So let's do another one. All right, listen to the word. Say a word that rhymes with fog. Good, okay. So some examples are bog, frog, clog. All right, listen to the word bag. What's a word that rhymes with bag? Okay, here's a few. Rag, sag, lag. Okay, and remember, these could be made up words. They don't have to be real words. They can be pretend words, and that's okay too. All right, listen to the word lot. What's a word that rhymes with lot? Hot, cot, rot, all rhyme with lot. Okay, listen to the word mall. What's a word that rhymes with mall? Fall, tall, or small. And you may have thought of lots of other ones. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna say the sounds that are in a word. And um, to do that, I'm gonna say the word and then we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna say the sounds. And I want you to count with me the sounds and I'm gonna use my fingers here to count so that we can see how many sounds are in each word. So remember for this, we're not worried about how many letters are in a word. We're just worried about how many sounds are in the word. Okay, so our first word is call. So say it with me and let's say the sounds. K, a, l, call. So there are how many sounds? Three sounds, you got it, okay? Now the word is take. Say the sounds with me. T, A, K. How many sounds? Just three sounds, good. All right, the word is lunch. U, A, N, CH. How many sounds? Four sounds, good. All right, the next word, fun. Uh, n. Fun has three sounds. All right. Red. R, E, D. Red. Good. And our last word, slime. S, L, I, M. Slime has four sounds. Okay, for this next part, we're going to count the syllables in words. And kiddos, if you remember, in class, when we do this, we do this two ways. So either you will clap your hands or you can put your hand under your chin like this. And every time your chin goes down, that's a syllable. I'm going to do it that way today because I am holding my notes in my hand. So I can't clap without two hands. Um, so I'm going to use my hand here under my chin. And after we say the word, you're going to tell me how many syllables it has. So the first word is baseball. Say it with me. Baseball. How many times did your chin go down? Should have been two times. Base 
ball. Okay? Here's your next word. Spring. Say it with me. Spring. Okay, your chin went down one time. There's one syllable in that word. The next word is rabbit. Say it with me. Rabbit. How many syllables? Two syllables. Good. Okay, now I'm going to give you a little bit harder one. I hope you're ready. Trampoline. Say it with me. Trampoline. How many times did your chin go down? Should have been three times. Trampoline. All right, and here's our last one and the hardest one. Watermelon. Ready? Watermelon. Four syllables. That's a big word with four syllables. Okay, now for the last bit that we're going to do today, we are going to practice substituting sounds. And parents, just so you know, we always start by changing the first sound in a word. But if your child has mastered that, if they get it right every time you ask them to do this, then you can very easily switch to the last sound in the word or the final sound. If they master that, then you can move them to doing the middle sounds, which is definitely the trickiest because those are always vowel sounds. And because of our Southern accents, those are a little harder sometimes for us to pronounce clearly and make that difference. So that can be really hard for kindergartners to hear those sounds and then to be able to replicate them. So this exercise today will just be um, the beginning sounds for the first few, and then I'm gonna do the end sounds for the last couple just so you can see how that works, okay? So kiddos, say the word bad. Now change the b to r. You should have rad, okay? Say hat. Now change the h to s. It should be sat. Say shoe. Change sh to m. Moo. Say get. Change g to p, and that should be pet. So all of those were substitutions of the beginning sound. We can do the same thing with the final sound. So for example, say bad. Now change the d to t, bat. So you see how that works. Um, and that's, that's all the sounds that I have for today. But what I love about phonemic awareness, it's easy to do anywhere you are. So you don't have to have any special supplies to do this. This is easy to do at the kitchen table. It's easy to do driving in the car. Um, it's easy for anybody to do. Now, one last thing um, that I want to do before I go is a nursery rhyme. And if your child um, struggles with phonemic awareness, Listening to nursery rhymes can be very helpful to help them start to listen for those sounds that are the same. So what we do at school is I will say part of a nursery rhyme and then I'll leave out a word for your child to fill in the blank. And we do this as a whole group. It's a lot of fun. So um, I'm going to do one today with Little Miss Muffet. And we've done this one in class before, so everybody should know it. So what I'll do is I will point to you kids when it's your turn to say the word just like we do at school okay little miss muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened miss muffet away so when you hear those words at the end of each line that rhyme um, this exercise really helps our kids to listen and hear those sounds and know um, that they rhyme. And that's why, that's how we can tell uh, what words are rhyming words. So that's it for today. I'm going to make a few more of these to share throughout the week this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else I can help you with. Um, I want to be there for you guys. And I know that it's hard to do this all from home. So um, I'm hoping that you're doing well and you're having a great week. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.